morning guys welcome to today's video today is tuesday and we have our farrier at our home i love our farrier in fact the team that we are building to support us with our horses has been changing and growing and i love the people that we have on our side it's been amazing to meet all these amazing people i do not know why but our farrier gets earlier and earlier every day earlier and earlier man Oh, it is 8 a.m. and she'll be here any minute and we're not quite ready yet. Before we start today's video, I wanted to tell you something. What if, what if I told you guys that when you woke up tomorrow morning, everything that was gonna happen to you was already pre-planned? Like, somebody had written a script for tomorrow for the whole day and nothing you could do would change that. It was already planned, they weren't gonna tell you what was gonna happen, but the minute you woke up and put your feet on the floor, everything was planned, every single thing, from the moment that you brush your teeth to the moment that you leave and you go outside and you have interactions. And if someone's mean to you, planned. And if you get in a car crash, planned. And if you win the lottery, planned. You don't get in a car crash. But imagine if everything that happens to you tomorrow, if you knew that it was pre-planned, and it was the, and it was all meant for a greater good. Like everything that happens to you tomorrow is just a small little piece of a big, huge, greater plan for your for your life. What if I told you that tomorrow was going to be an experiment, and you had no choices? You just had to go out there and live it and see what was happening, and you just kept an open mind and you laughed at everything that happened or you looked at it from a different perspective instead of like living it sometimes it takes like standing outside of your body and looking at the things that happened to you for you to not feel the stress of it does that even make sense like I wish I was better spoken so that I could explain to you but all I ask is for today when you wake up have an open mind go about it your day as though it is a series of adventures that someone has planned for you. Adventures that you're not supposed to know about or figure out how it plays into the big plan of your life, but just look at it like an adventure. A series of obstacles and a series of wins and, lo and losses to, to teach you, not to hurt you, not to make life harder for you, but to teach you. Get, Sophie already picked her spot. Did you put hay in every stall? Yeah. Thank you. Go ahead, little mini. I, I want more minis. Like in another life, I could see us retiring with minis. They know. They know where to go. I've done this a million times. Oh my God. Okay, Penny, go. Go, Penny. <laughs> go, Penny. Penny listens to words, man. That girl. Uh oh. Yeah, don't be so mean, Willow. <laughs> Get in there. It's true though, like Sophie loves minis and I love minis, like. I love the playing with our horses. I love like how Penny understands English. Like I come down, I say, go to your spot and then she just goes to her spot where I feed her. Like it's just amazing. All right. Sophie, before the rain comes, can you grab the big bucket and take it out into the mare's field? It's time that we gotta clean it again. Looks like Penny's in heat. You know how I can tell? She pees on her legs. I can tell the horses are so confused. Penny just keeps looking at me like, why am I in my stall? Why am I not eating grass? I love farrier day, I love vet day, I love saddle fit day, like I love- I don't like those days. Sophie hates those days. She's like, oh man, come on. Yeah way too early this is the bucket that we use to clean the mare's field but I do love those days because the more people we interact with the more information we take in and I love that I love learning I love figuring things out and 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 adding it to our toolbox of knowledge when it comes to horses what if I screwed up the dates again and it's not farrier day <laughs> Gabby just slowly nods her head in resignation. We're literally the people that are always ready. Always ready early. Always waiting for whoever we have an appointment with. Except for a couple of times we've been late due to situations not, uh, uh, not beyond our control. Yeah. 
yeah. But usually we are so accommodating. Look, they sit here and here, and I get to sit here. Well, I was working, being busy, cleaning up horse poop. You guys can see the yeah, buckets. I was full. watching Willow. Yeah, so he was watching Willow. I Gabby. watched her drool. Yeah, wow. They're, those are why those are. Gabby, what are you doing? <laughs> Relaxing, playing TikTok. Oh, she's on TikTok. All right, somebody needs to go get my phone so I can double check the date and make sure that we're all good. Gabby arrived late, so she should do that. All right, Gabby. Sophia, You're... Since I water, yeah, but Sophie did grain. Okay. Their feet look really good, so that's making me think maybe I have it too early. But what if I screwed up the date for the farrier again for the second time and that happened so that God could teach us like what it's like to come down and be in a hurry and get down at the barn and clean it and not have any distractions like phones. So that is a hack. That is something I do all the time to keep myself positive and moving forward and happy and loving life is that I try and guess the journey that I'm on each day. So when something happens, I'm like, oh, that is teaching me about this, or oh, that was meant to teach me this, or look at, or sometimes I will look back and say like, wow, that really bad thing that happened yesterday really taught me so many incredible things. And then I take those things that I've learned, and because I've recognized them and, and paid attention to the lessons, I'm able to use them and prevent things like that from happening the next time and the next time. But one thing I want you to know, that's so super important is that when you learn a lesson, like a really important lesson, say like something really bad happens and you're like, I'm forever changed. I will never ever like be the same because this happened. Sometimes when you learn a lesson, God is like, yes, you did it. But then he wants you to perfect it. So he'll give you that lesson over and over and over and over. And then he will increase the intensity of the, les the lesson and create a situation where you're, it, that's even more stressful and, and give you that over and over and over again. And as you keep killing it and moving up and learning each time and doing better and better and better, then that lesson will be removed from your experience. But And you'll fall asleep while someone's and you talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my kids are so super, super sarcastic. That, that's a little... <laughs> I thought you meant you were bored with my conversation. No. Is there a bug on your belly? All right, Gabby, go get my phone so we can see if if this was a test of time. If it is, you owe me something. Sleep, extra sleep. You can go back to bed. See, I don't do that. Much. I know I don't do that either. And no. You are such a cute mini. So cute. So, this is what I was thinking. Like, in another life, Sophie, when you guys go to college or you grow out of horses or if you stop riding yeah, horses. I'm never going to do that. Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't see it happening anytime soon. But you never know. Like, usually when girls go to college, they start getting out of horses. Or when they grow up and have babies and get married, they start growing out of horses. So anyways, what about if we got a herd of minis? I love that yeah. idea. Not I too many, not too many. What a whole herd of minis, just like that. Yeah, different colors. different colors, but just as good as her. She is coming, she's five minutes away. Locked out. All right, I did it. It was right, I got the right date. It's all good. Two feet in three, two. This is it, this is the carnage. So. Grab that piece of Huff, yeah, so Penny is definitely in heat. <laughs> you could tell by the fact that she was excited when our farrier lifted her back foot. <laughs> but I would love that. It stinks. Getting your horse's feet done stinks. Anyways, these are Penny's hooves, three of them, and Sophie wants them for her dog. These are for our dogs. It's a good dog treat for today. There's this weird thing, like. So Sophie and I are headed out. Where are we headed? Um, to the sales barn. To the sales barn, you guys. Do you guys know what the sales barn is? If you've been following our channel for any length of time, then you will know. I got chased by sheep, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I need to find that video and put it in here. That was no. so funny. So. <laughs> That was the day that we, the one time when we went to the sales bar, that was the day that we found out that Sophie is scared of sheep. It chased me. <laughs> anyway, we're headed there. It's only open on Tuesdays. And the reason that we like to go there is because 
Because there is a person that sells chickens. Yeah, the chicken guy. But he hasn't been there since COVID. And oh, there's this guy that sells chickens. He has a huge chicken farm. And he has every variety, every shape, every color, every age, every everything. And we love to look at them. We love to like just go and see what they have. And, and then buy some that we want. So even though we already have enough chickens, we have just the perfect amount of chickens for our coop. We don't want any more chickens. There are a couple of things that I do want. So if I find, so if the chicken guy is actually back there this year and I find what I want, like I want a silky rooster, we're coming home with a chicken. Even if it means I have to get rid of one or two of our chickens and I'm okay with that. Like we You'd only- get rid of a frizzle. We would not get rid of a frizzle. I want a silky rooster so I can make frizzles. So I can make more frizzles, if that makes sense. But anyways, we're going to go to the sales barn and I just want to do a disclaimer that not everybody likes to see videos of the sales barn. It's animals in small pens and small spaces and it's just a transition place. It's a place where farmers bring their livestock to be sold at auction. I don't like to see them in small little spaces either. It helps to know that it's just for a short time. They're just there for a very short time. It's only one day a week. It's on Tuesdays and people take their cows and whatever to sell them. So let's go. Okay, so usually what happens is that like there's a sale here there's like people have yard sales and it's like farm stuff and whatever and since covid they haven't had like any yard sales stuff and it's the yard sale stuff and the chicken people that all form this outside group at the sales barn and they've never been here since covid but today we actually saw i think we saw tents set up so we think like the yard sale part's here and if the yard sale part is here then the chicken guy might be here yeah what kind of chicken are you hoping to get? Um, I want a silky, a baby silky, so that I can train it. Yeah, that'd be fun. I'd do that. And it can live with me forever. And yeah, ever. no. Be in the coop. That, this is how some guy brought his little baby sheep to the sales. They're so cute. So it doesn't look like there's chickens here. But we're gonna look. Oh. All right, so Sophie for sure thinks there's going to be a pony here. So lots of sheep. Look at that mama with her baby. Her baby's like, stay with me, mom. All right, we found what we want. We, we're, we're buying something. Just joking. We're not buying something. Oh, my gosh. Look at how cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. We have to get it. Oh, my goodness. You're so adorable. Oh my gosh. Hopefully they're all sold together with their moms. <laughs> He's like, I don't really know you. Is it a boy or a girl? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to put it oh my gosh. Thank goodness we got to come today. Oh my goodness. We love you. Saying, mom, mom, shut up. Oh, it's making its tail. So, their umbilical cords are still on, so they probably like gave birth on the way here. But this is how <laughs> Sophie gets attacked. Should I be moving? Oh my god, they're coming past me. Wait, I'll move. I moved. I wasn't scared though. They didn't scare me. <laughs> Sophie. Sophie's in the pen. She's like, they, they scare me. Aw, oh, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Yeah. Yeah, just pay them and just... Just take it. take it. So clearly they need to be nursed with their moms. Hi. Get this one. That one's cute too. I like the one that you first had. Oh, but look at This one's like so tired. Together we can go crazy We can put out the lights Together we can go, we can go I look straight in your eyes And everything is so hazy It is just you and I And everything is so, thing is so So call me out, call me out, baby So the big 
thing is, is that like, in another life, I would have had goats. I would have had like, our first initial dream was like a, a <coughs> hobby farm with lots of different animals, especially goats, because we loved goats and a couple of horses. And But as our kids got showing, it got more crazy. Like, even if you don't factor in the cost, horse shows and being away all the time is like so much more stressful. Like it's so much harder to take care of the animals that you have at home when you want to be at a horse show. Like, but if I get a baby goat, I can bring it with me. No, you really can't, Sophie. That's yeah, the I problem. Yeah, really I can. I just gotta bring like five bottles and we're good. No, that need they need their mom. They need to be sold with their mom. We're gonna prank Sam. We're gonna prank him. Yes. Hi. Hi. So I have bad news. What? It's not my fault, so you blame Sophie. Okay? What? Sophie made me go. And we saw Clayton there. And then she found something that she loved so much. And then he said, like, I'll just buy it for you. And you give me the money. And I, I said, no, I try to stay strong. But then Sophie just over overpowered me. Yeah, boy. <clears throat> okay, so are you saying you don't believe me? Yeah, I don't believe you. You could have said no. Just wait till you find out what it was. Yeah, but it's just one thing. We didn't buy like this. There, there was like a whole little batch of them. But we just bought it? one. Aren't you glad we just bought one? Do you want to know what it is? What is it, a cow? Oh my God, do you want a cow? Well, that's better than anything else you're gonna get. <laughs> that's because you want a cow. Okay, fine, we'll go back and get a baby cow. Yeah. No, I don't want any more animals. All right, what is it, Sophie, tell him. It's a baby goat. Yeah, we don't need a baby goat. Sophie. It's a bottle baby goat. It's only, it has its umbilical cord still. It can yeah, barely even what are you stand. Gonna do with it? We're gonna feed it. You can't just have one either. Why? And then it'll get out. You want us to go back and get another one? No, you need to go back and take it back. You can't take it back. You can't do that. Prank! Yeah. I figured it was gonna be a prank. <laughs> yeah. You believed us. You bought into it. Do you think you I want any even... more animals, Sam? Honestly. Do you think you I'm that dumb? Even... You can't even put it anywhere. It'll get out everywhere. I know. Prank. Talk to you later. Don't you know that you're beautiful?